Hey guys, Shane Starnes with DroidMotorX.com. Today I decided to go ahead and purchase the Moto X. The reason why I decided to purchase it is because just in case has been teasing his new route method for the Moto X and the new Droid line, the Droid Ultra Max and Mini. And so of course this is my how to route the Verizon and AT&T Moto X. Uh, there is a huge warning on the root thread not to try this method on a phone that is not Motorola. So we know that it works on the Moto X for AT&T and Verizon and also the new Droid lineup, but you won't want to try this on any other device because it could brick your phone. Uh, so that's just a warning. But we'll go ahead and get started. This is super simple. Uh, just in case has made this really easy. You'll need to download a couple of applications. So we'll head to his thread and I'll include a link to his thread in the description of this video. Okay, so I'll include a link in the description to JCase's thread, but it'll bring you to the root thread here. What you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to download the Motorola Verizon application. There are two listed here, and if you're on Verizon, of course you'll want to get the Verizon one. If you're on AT&T, it's different, so be sure you do grab the right one. So go ahead and download that. Okay, as soon as it's downloaded, we'll install it. We need to go into settings and approve unknown sources. So check the unknown sources box. And we will choose to install. Okay, then we'll open it. Okay, and then we're going to press setup. This will reboot the device. Okay, and then we will install the Super SU app. By Chainfire. So the only way to unroot this for now is to uh, do a factory reset or press the unroot option in the application. Okay, we're going to go ahead and check for root to make sure that it did work. And here we have the super user request. So we know that our Moto X on Verizon and AT&T and also the new Droid lineup have been rooted. It says congratulations this device has root access so if you wanted to unroot you would go into the application and select the unroot option if you uninstall the application it will disable root otherwise this root is completely permanent and it will stick through any reboots now that your Moto X is rooted, uh, be sure not to accept any over-the-air updates from Verizon or AT&T because those will surely have patches to this root method uh, which will unroot your device. Big shout outs to Justin Case for this root method. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to click the like button, subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Moto X and other Droid devices in the near future. You can find more of me at DroidMotorX.com. I'll we'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.